this ain't working. Because it keeps cutting out. And luckily I don't have to reset to for this to record still, so that that's pretty good. Okay, so this one's gonna make it go up, maybe? Perfect. And then we need it to rotate. Hmm. It's getting stuck on something. Seems like I'll have to avoid those obstacles while I turn it. Huh? What obstacle? I need to get there, but how? Can I climb? Try to adjust. Wait, what did it say? Try to adjust what? Uh, obstacle seems to kind of turn direction. Try adjust to. I can't read that fast, man. I know what it says. Oh wait, how about we? How about if we make it go down first, and then? Rerotate it. Yeah. And now we pick it back up. Boom. Nice. I do have a little brain up there. Okay, it 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 sits there. <laughs> it 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 sits up there somewhere. We cool. Oh, whoa! The water down here? Okay, here we go. This is where the water starts. Okay. Master Child probably dived into the water. I'll go take a look as well. And here we go south. Are we gonna take damage? I think, yeah, I think we're gonna take damage while we're in the water or something. Because it's... The normal water is combined with the primordial sea for some reason. Oh yeah, when you swim with Fermine, he takes like... He has more stamina, what's not the word you can say? The vegetation here is a bit more sparse. These traces aren't natural. A person must have left them. And recently. I should be going. Oh, there are traces here too. I need to keep going. It's more like. It's more like, um. Uh. My English is so bad right now, so I can't even. Yeah, the, the stamina consumption is, is, uh, is, is much lower. When. Uh -huh. Traces are gone, but I don't see where he could have gone from here. Uh, wait, what the? Uh, uh. Oh, <sighs> my heart is racing, and it's getting harder and harder to breathe. What's going on? Uh oh. No good. I have to get back. They still don't know anything about what's going on. If I turn back right now, I should still be able to make it. Oh, oh go back. Go back. Oh my god. I can I can just literally heal myself. <laughs> I'm good. I have chicken. I have chicken. I'm good. I can't die here. This this is bad. I'm feeling worse and worse, and I'm still underwater. I. Have to push on. 
And he... Oh! There she is! She was right on time. Any longer he would probably have been dead. She was just there right on time. Hmm. So, in other words, the trail you were following vanished, and you had no idea where Master Child could have gone, but there was also no obvious place for him to have disappeared to. Mm hmm That's right. I tried my best to swim back, but I had already put some distance between myself and the fortress, and I just couldn't find the strength to keep going. I probably passed out some time after that, and you know the rest. Miss Clarand brought you back, but we also don't know why she just suddenly appeared at the fortress, or why she went out to save you. Yeah. Miss Clarand, you say? I must go thank her in person. Maybe get some information from, uh, uh, Wolf. You know, and be like, yeah, he's down there. You probably, can you go and get him? You're still too weak from an A. You can go after you've had some more rest. Miss Lynette is right. I believe Miss Cloran will stay here as a guest for another few days, so there's no need to hurry. A guest? Then I can assume Risley was the one who invited her to come down here? You should ask His Grace about that. He'll be able to explain better than me. Got it. I'll go talk to him. Yeah. It's about time he actually told us what's going on. Wanna come with us, Liddy? Uh... No, please go on without me. I don't want to leave just yet. Lenny. The logical part of my brain is aware that we're safe right now, but I still can't bring myself to leave. Both of you are just in danger. <sighs> Understood. Then let's just sit together for a while. In that case, I'll leave the infirmary to you. The Traveler and I are going to head out for now. As long as you stay in here, I don't think you'll be disturbed. Thank you. Alright, let's go and talk and see what's really going on here. If you can't hear my voice right now, I'm, I, I, I am a bit tired. I am a bit tired, but I do want to keep going on because I'm really interested to see what's going on. I thought somebody is home right now, so I don't want to speak too loud either. I, I, I want to play a little bit more before Excuse me. I leave for today and record like tomorrow or something. I take it Mr. Fremenet's condition has stabilized? Of course. I wouldn't have left the infirmary otherwise. I've been expecting those two, but might I inquire as to the purpose of your visit, Miss Sejuin? I wanted to check up on Miss Cloran. How are you feeling? Mostly fine, I think. If you don't mind, I'd like to perform another quick physical exam. It'll just take a few minutes. All right. Thank you for looking out for me. I'll take my leave for now, then. Alright, it's just you and me, we'll Well, say. want to explain yourself, Risley? <laughs> of course. But I'm not partial to the word choice of explain. How about enlighten? Please enlighten us as much as you'd like. Mm, where should I begin? How about you start by asking me any questions you have? You can start with whichever one you'd like to get answered the most. Alright. Then Paimon will begin. Did you know about Lenny's goals from the very beginning? Mm, no. I just knew they were Fatui operatives sent to the fortress by the Knave. As for their specific goals... I only figured those out as you made progress on your investigation. You managed to monitor and stay ahead of them even though you didn't know what they were trying to do? They came here with ulterior motives. I'm quite adept at discerning what that kind of behavior signals. Why didn't you stop them? Initially, I thought their goal was just to investigate Child's disappearance. Linny suggested that I had deliberately let him escape, but in truth... I didn't really do anything special to help or hinder him while he was here. Everything he did, from finding helpers to leaving this place, he did on his own. 
Of course, it's inevitable that the Knave would make a big deal out of her fellow Harbinger's unexplained disappearance. I'm also quite curious about where that Harbinger went, so I figured I might as well let the Fatui do their own investigative work. All I care about is the answer. So you were hoping Lenny's group would just do your work for you! You make it sound like that's a bad thing. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. I assume that Fremenet has told you already, the ratio of primordial seawater around the fortress of Meripede is on the rise. The Forbidden Zone has always been Linny's target, and you <coughs> got roped into that investigation Sorry. after running into him. I began to intervene out of concern for your safety, and also to prevent the fortress from becoming entangled in more irksome matters. Are the rumors true? That you're also a former criminal? Now why would you put it like that? Isn't staying here all day and serving as the manager of the fortress a kind of sentence unto itself? Another form of prison? I just happen to have some support from the rest of the inmates. That's all. Oh, right. Paima wanted to ask, who invited Clarant down here? Me, of course. I paid her good mora to come down to the fortress for some field work. As a champion duelist, Miss Clarant could be considered to be an independent party. I needed to find an exceptionally capable person to help me get through the appending crisis. And saving Fremenet was part of that crisis? You can think of it like that, yes. Credit where credit is due, that boy is quite adept at diving. Had conditions not been as hostile as they were, he probably would have found the missing Harbinger already. So the Forbidden is still really exciting. What's the inside of it? That's not something you should be asking after. Nervalette only asked you to investigate Child's whereabouts. Okay. Now I'm just more, more, more curious. Jesus. All I need to prove to you is that the Forbidden Zone had nothing to do with the Harbinger's disappearance. That should be clear now that you've spoken to Fremenet. But we've already uncovered that there's something wrong with the infirmary. And we've answered a bunch of questions that you threw at us. Isn't it about time that you answer our last question in return? You make a compelling case. Do you really want to know the answer that badly? Yes. Yeah, Paimon really wants to know! Even if the truth may not be pleasant? Yes. Follow me. Alright, alright. What, what is it? It's like, uh... Just like a place where a, they have like a bunch of dead bodies or something? Or, I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh. There's a hidden door here? And a whole basement behind it? Huh. You're pretty good at hiding stuff, Risley. It seems you've forgotten just what kind of place the Fortress of Meripede is. Oh my god, we're gonna finally see what's here in the Forbidden Zone! Stand on the central plate. Wait, is there <coughs> a secret mechanism or... Whoa! Are we going down? Ah, we're going down. Once everyone is taking their positions and their plates against the slowly... A dungeon? Wait, we're going into a dungeon one? Interesting. So, this is the Forbidden Zone? Honestly, for a place so well hidden, Paimon sure doesn't see anything special. And that is... What a huge door! There are three such isolation gates in total. Generally speaking, I'm the only one who's allowed to go inside. Hence the name Forbidden Zone. Am I correct to assume you're going to run on back and tell your little Fatui friends everything? Um... I could keep this a secret if it, I mean... Well, I... Paimon wasn't thinking of keeping anything from them. <laughs> well, I'd advise you wait until you've seen the whole truth of this place for yourself before deciding whether or not to tell them. Oh... Oh my god, I, I just need to see what's going on. 
Wait, we 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 turned into Hydro Traveler now. Do we have any gear on her? Yeah, kinda. She 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 will work fine. Oh my god, I haven't upgraded any of her attacks at all. Do we have? Oh yeah, we have a little bit. Why not upgrade it? Because I feel like we're gonna have to fight anyway, so upgrade a little bit. There you go. Okay, I need to save all the other materials though, because I can't be using them here right now. Because I'm still, I will be fighting as her. So there's so. a switch on the side. Stand back. Oh my god. Whoa! They all just went up one by one. What's in the middle of the room? Go on, have a look. You know what would be cool as well? I know she can hold it in, but what if she could walk with it? Wouldn't that be cool? If you could actually walk with it too. In my, in my opinion, it would be really cool to see that. This room is really em- This room is really empty with nothing in here. Which is quite strange on its own. There's also a device uh, smack dab in the middle of the room. Which looks like some kind of massive- Uh- Sloyd's gate? I've been interested Sloyd's in what lies gate. beyond that gate ever since I assumed leadership of the Fortress of Meripede. Of course, it would be unwise to recklessly open it. But it'd also be risky and negligent to simply ignore any potential danger that could be behind it. The readings on that dashboard have not budged since the day when I first laid eyes on this place. But over the past year, the needle has crept upwards from its original position. Likely because some parameter it's been tracking has changed, if only infinitesimally. Normally I would have ignored it, but I happen to have some free time when I noticed it, so I investigated. Any guesses what the reading could be tracking? Uh, the water pressure? Very reasonable guesses. I've considered both of those as well. Unfortunately, our dashboard is tracking something less ordinary. The temperature should vary with weather and climate changes, so for something that rarely shifts, the water pressure is more likely. We ran a few tests to increase the pressure from the outside, but the readings didn't change at all. Maybe the amount of primordial sea mixed into normal water? Later on, a few more possibilities occurred to me, such as a potential connection with the primordial sea. I began to make a few preparations based on that hypothesis. Over the past few days, the needle has moved again. With that, and the symptoms that Fremenet displayed after leaving the fortress, I can now confidently conclude that the readings represent the concentration of primordial seawater in the seawater nearby. Whoa, I was right for once at something. <coughs> concentration of <coughs> primordial seawater? But we're already under the sea! And that is precisely the problem. We're at the bottom of the sea, and now we're surrounded by toxic seawater. Somehow, primordial seawater got mixed in, and the concentration is steadily rising. Primordial seawater is continu uh, continually leaking into the sea? Yes. That's very likely. But forget about the two of us! Not even Novelette knows where the primordial sea could be, much less where we could find and plug a leak. Oh. Seems like you've figured it out. I believe the primordial sea lies directly beneath this sluice gate. For some reason, the primordial seawater levels have risen significantly, and it's now very close to us. The indicators are now red. Although the gate still stands, some primordial seawater has already leaked out and mixed into the sea around us. If this continues... <sighs> Soon, it will no longer be able to hold back the Primordial Sea at all. And if the Primordial Sea is leaking through, if this, uh, uh, if this gate falls, all Fontaine will be fall, uh, fall in, uh, with it. Jeez, I can't read anymore. Uh, if this gate falls, all of Fontaine will fall with it. Yeah, you know what the legends say. If this place falls, then everyone in Fontaine will be turned into puddles in the span of a night. He'd be built right above a sluice gate for the primordial sea. Who built this place anyway? 
Your expression tells me you think this might be part of a vast, complicated conspiracy. To be honest, you might find the actual answer may be exceedingly boring. It's just that the secret of the Forbidden Zone had been long forgotten by the nation before I rediscovered it with my research. There's no single founder of the Fortress of Meripede in any traditional sense. What we know about its history has been left to us by the people who used to live here. When the previous Hydro Archon, Egeria, ruled the land, all convicted criminals from Fontaine were exiled. The people drove the criminals away like a wolf pack chasing away the banished. The criminals received no sympathy of any kind from the people. They were exiled to the desolate seaside, where they experienced only pain, struggle, and the bone-chilling cold. Some of them began to repent, and prayed to the Hydro Archon, asking if there was still anything they could do. The Hydro Archon took pity on them, and said, You may go guard my secret, deep underneath the waves. And so, leaning on the power of the Hydro Archon, they gathered underneath the sea and began to build a fortress. They became a community down there in the deeps, and over the years helped it to grow. As the number of exiles increased, more and more people joined the community. When the first group of exiles died, they left the yet unfinished fortress to their successors. The Hydro Archon continued to lend her support, allowing the fortress and what it stood for to continue growing ever larger. Before long, this dark underwater fortress became the sinner's only home. And with that, the people here stopped referring to the fortress as a prison. They saw themselves as repenting sinners, who would regain their freedom once they had sufficiently redeemed themselves. But as time went on, people also realized that the fortress was a lonely place. Once they had gotten used to life here, they could no longer feel comfortable living in the overworld. Once they had finished serving their sentences, some people left and some others chose to stay. They'd find some idle position and let their withered souls fade away with the ancient secrets of the past. After many, many centuries, few people still remember the reason for the fortress's founding. Now they just see it as an integral pillar of Fontanian society, as the place where criminals deserve to be sent. Now and again, researchers manage to break one law or another and live out their days in the fortress. I learned all this from an elderly historian. Everyone else just thought he'd made it all up. But now you know every part of that history is true. Indeed. That's just as the prophecy says. If this gate fails, then everyone will be dissolved into the sea. Do you believe in the prophecy? I mean, I, you know, the thing is, I thought at first, if, if it's because it was probably just like, um, mixed into the normal seawater. That's probably like permeated and turned into actual water or something, but you know, it still had uh, the bad side effects and whatnot. It, it's probably when you consume pure primordial seawater, where you just turn into water. Uh, do you believe in the prophecy? To be frank, not really. But sadly, that hasn't stopped this prophecy from proving all too accurate. Prophecies are troublesome things. Just hearing one will create the first wave of panic. Seeing signs of it will bring about the second, and actually witnessing it in real time, the third. So as the Duke of Meropede, just what do you plan to do about it? Let's go somewhere else. I want to show you something. Aye. Oh, free TP. Nice. Uh how -huh, where are we? This is it. Your Grace, perfect timing. The results from our last round of experiments have Wait, Jurier, he's not alone. Oh. Huh? Lorvine and Jurier? No need to panic, you two. I've already told them about our plan. What? After you warned us not to tell a single soul about any of this? I'm skeptical as well. Are you sure they are trustworthy? The results speak for themselves, don't they? These two may already know more than you could ever imagine. All right then, if your grace insists. 
They seem harmless enough, so I'll trust them for now. Well, how about some reintroductions? This is Jurier, one of the highest ranked researchers from the Fontaine Research Institute. He used to work under Edwin. I trust that you've heard of Edwin? Uh, Ed who? <laughs> He's the one who blew the whole institute sky high. <laughs> Everyone knew he was a bit crooked in the head, but you're not a local, so I guess it's possible for you not to have heard of him. 